It's six o'clock in the morning at Honester Slate Mine in the English Lake District, and it's a fantastic morning. Um, for various reasons, I have decided to go and run Bob Graham Round Leg 5 today. It's something I've had to do on my list for a very long time. The problem is, to run the Bob Graham Round, you need to wreck it first. And that's kind of part of what this trip is about. So I'm just going to get my shit together, and then I'm going to go run a bloody great big hill behind me. I'm going to take this start fairly easy, simply because it's the first long run I've done in a while, and it's bloody steep. Right, time to get the poles out, I think. For anyone who thought, well, the Bob Graham Road can't be that hard, because you only really need to do about three miles an hour, 5k an hour for 24 hours. Trust me, that sort of thinking will get you in trouble. Um, you know, I've gotten close to myself because it's on a Monday, outside of school holidays at six in the morning. And, um, well, I have got the headphones on, I'm not listening to anything, because I just don't want to ruin the experience of walking up here, because it's just fabulous. I'll save that for the roads into Keswick at the end. But it's just glorious. You kind of start Keswick, which is around the corner, and you run along that ridge line, including Helvellyn, um, another most pike, Dolly Wagon Pike, Fairfield, Seat Sand will drop down to Dunmail Rose and then up again of a steel ferrule way over there somewhere and round. It's just remarkable. And I know I've got to try at some point. It's not going to be a year or two. Right. Let's get on with it. That's another three minutes of filming but I don't really care. I've got three and a half hours to get to Keswick. And okay, that's a half marathon. Um, <clears throat> but nearly all of the climb is just in this first section. Something of a lesson learned there. One of the key things about the bog run round is you've got to know the ground and you can endlessly save seconds, maybe even minutes here and there through good route finding. I just made a cracking sound mistake of instead of coming to the right of that knoll and down here, I kind of went over it and down there. So, excuse me, Mr. Sheeps, let's get on with our hands, go up to the right a little bit. But the point is, you've got to know the ground so intimately that you just shave off these seconds here and there, everywhere. Nearly at the top of Heinz Garth. Not nearly at the top of Heinz Garth. The false summits on this thing are a killer. <laughs> you see a can and you think, yay, we're good. And you're really not good. That's okay, not far now. Oh, with things like that on ultras, personally, I think you're much better to stop, take the 30 seconds it involves to undo your shoe, empty it, and do it up before carrying on.
<coughs> One of the things that I think is probably interesting about the bob going around is it's probably got easier over time. So I'm walking up a path towards Robinson that probably didn't exist in this form when Bob Graham first did the Bob Graham round. <clears throat> and as people have learned the route and the tips and tricks to make it between the, the 42 peaks as quick as possible, you know, seconds and minutes have been shaved off here and there, like I was talking about earlier. <clears throat> so it's probably got a bit easier and a bit more known. Robinson. Oh my goodness me, it's just absurd how beautiful this is around here. I mean, really, I hope you can see this. hope it's coming through. My big fat head's not going too much in the way. But it's remarkable. It really is. There we go. Time to go that away. Steep bit. High steep bit. I've got to say, in the wet, this would probably be a bloody nightmare. But there we go, because the rock's quite polished because of so many feet over the years, because it is a lovely place to walk, I've got to say. Yeah, let's just duck along these shelves here. And yeah, that's probably not doing my quads the best, but... We'll file that one under quad training, I think. Eccentric loading. Once I've just finished this little bit of descent of Robinson, I'm going to hang a right to drop right the way down into the valley floor. Which, if I remember, is the way that Kilian Jordanet Borgada took when he took the record for the Bob Graham round in some obscene time of 13 hours something. I think I'll have to look that up. That bit there was just incredibly steep. God knows what that must be like on the quads after you've already done the majority of eight or 9,000 meters of cumulative ascent because that's the, the last of the big hills. So, man alive. This is gonna be a killer when I give it a go. And now we're onto the back roads, um, having dropped off the back of Robinson through the valley. And we're going to head to a little uh, village called Little Town, and then we'll just run across to Keswick. And it's probably about 10k to go, so we'll ditch the poles in a minute. 